What is going on, Jared Haas with FrontStretch.com. Down here with 3F Racing from the news last year, trying to start a team. You're still here, too. What has the process been like trying to start a new NASCAR team out there? Well, it's definitely a lot to do. So, um, from getting the funding together, get, getting the fitting sponsors, getting the right partners, the right manufacturers. So, we were definitely busy during the last year. Now that this kind of processes are very valuable talks with potential partners, future sponsors, and the goal is still definitely hitting the track this year and then coming to stay. And then you guys were telling me that you guys finally got your pieces of yeah. crew for your company yourself. So what was that process like with you guys? And you know, what the importance of that is? Well, first of all, that was like a really time consuming process. We were hoping to get that done like in January, but they cut down like their employees at the consulates in Germany. So it's a lot of paperwork as a non-citizen of the US. If you start like a company over here, you have to prove that you actually really invest. So we have to every single company send that to them. Also prove that we actually paid off the invoices uh, and like really actually tell them everything about our background, our career so far, family stuff and everything. So they really want to know every single detail about you as a person, but also about the company. It's but, like your yeah. background <laughs> Exactly. I mean, exactly. I understand it. I think it's it's a smart move that they want to know what people are able to enter and work here. But without the visa, it would have been super difficult signing employee contracts or anything. So, but now we got the visa, we just uh, uh, apply for the social security number. So, I think we are the only people that are happy, like sitting in an yeah. office, like, oh, so exciting, we are getting a social security number. Then, like, we are the other person, this is so boring. We were like, oh, it's so exciting. It's actually, so, but that's pretty because, cool. like, actually, without having the social security number or the visa, it's like nonsense to have sponsors, to be honest, because, like, we are not able to get their money if we have, like, no proof that we are more than just tourists. Let's put it this way. And I'm curious to hear if you guys have any conversation with the charter system. That's been a hot topic button in the NASCAR garage because look at how the system works. You basically need a charter in order to make a profit. Have you had any discussions with charters or teams or no? Honestly, so far, not. So first of all, the first goal is really getting our current track. Uh, scoring some solid results with our partners, and then we want to take it step by step. For sure, we would love to have a charter, but the ask crisis right now, I think let's start slow, doing a few races, and I think you can still make profit if you negotiate like the right way with the sponsors. So, and, but for sure, without a charter, we're not having e money and stuff. Oh, uh, we have to start something. And I'm curious to hear about the. Uh, Perception of Germany to NASCAR from time German fans. Has it been overall positive experience? How has NASCAR been over in Germany? So there is no actually terrible NASCAR racing in, in Germany or all over Europe. We do have the so called new NASCAR series, which is like basically the road course races all over Europe. But there is like a broadcast channel streaming most of the NASCAR races here. Uh, with a little bit like uh, the bonus, like with our time difference, uh, six hours uh, ahead of the United States here at the East Coast. Uh, actually, like uh, on a Sunday, the Germans spend the time outdoor, go for a walk, hike, something like that. So when they are done, back on the couch in the evening, they can really enjoy the full race. It's like at midnight or so, prime time, or prime time, depending on when the race takes place here for sure. But uh, yeah, they broadcast all the races. There is a big uh, fan community over there for sure. Also, like there's a big fan from Brad met them at Phoenix last year in Arizona. Uh, they they organize like NASCAR travels with like troops of 20 to 30 people uh, coming to the races over here. Watch your mind. So, um, what's the next step for the yeah, race? I know you have a really long program, but what is the next step now that you guys are established with um, like social uh, security? <laughs> So now the, 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 the next steps are going back late model racing in the summer to keep ourselves a little bit busy, helping to develop our late model driver, Christopher Tate. We are actually talking to other drivers from the late model program, so get the late model going this, uh, this summer, this late summer. And then during the summer, I hope that we have everything set for the cup season. Let me be ready, go racing in the cup, late summer, fall, at least, even if it's just like the last three, four races of the season, but definitely. 
having everything ready by then. So, and I hope that we can confirm everything during the summertime. And that's three app racing for you. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm Jared Haas of FrontStretch.com. As always, make sure to have a great race weekend. Thank you. Hey everyone, Zane Smith, driver number 38.4 for Front Row Motorsports. Be sure to subscribe to Front Stretch on YouTube.